Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today's is a good one. You know, I've got a story that I want to share with you. Years ago, I was fishing on Lake Chickamauga. It was a ledge tournament in July, and I was catching most of my fish on a shaky head, just like this. And I was having a good day. I think I finished 27th in the tournament. I think I caught like 16 pounds a day. So it was a good event. But I lost several fish in that event that really cost me some big ones. And in the weigh-in line, I was talking to the general, Larry Nixon, and I was telling him about how I had lost some fish. And we were talking about how we caught our fish, like you always do in the bag line. And I had told him that I was catching them on a shaky head. And I, you know, when I told him I lost a couple, he goes, well, what head are you using? And I said, I'm using the Pro Model Spot Remover Head. This is what I was throwing. It was the 3 16th ounce size. And he goes, oh, that's the wrong head. And I was like, that's the wrong head. Why do you say that? He goes, you should be using the regular spot remover. And I was like, what, why? And if any of you are familiar, the difference between the pro model, which is what this one is, is it's got that pigtail there. That pigtail is basically the difference. The regular model has a little lead spike that comes off and you just put the tip of the worm on there. Well, the pro model was produced because it holds the worms that much better. So in this case, I've got the pro model right here and it just hold. I mean, it, it is a good holding technique, right? We see a lot of shaky heads now that are using that pigtail bait keeper. Well, what Larry told me in that bag line was it was the wrong head and the wrong hook or not the wrong hook, but the wrong keeper and the reason for that is that pigtail which is what this is right there holds so well that it it prevents the bait from pulling away when you have a fish so when a fish bites it you know you go through the bait but the the plastic never releases from the head it stays tight well what that does is it really decreases the gap so your space between the hook point and the worm, and therefore you end up skin hooking a lot of fish. And that's why he was telling me you lose a lot because you don't get that worm out of the way. So what he recommended to me was I should go with the regular spot remover or some other form of shaky head that has more of a keeper that just holds the worm in place, but is made to release the worm when a fish bites. So if I take the same bait and put it on so this is one of my favorites this is the alien head here it's a stand-up i don't know if you guys have used this it's a football shaped head a very good one well with these or like the regular spot remover all you do is take your worm and slide it right up on there and then you thread it on and what happens is when a fish bites it that breaks away so what larry was saying is when that fish bites that and the worm breaks away the, the worm gets out of the way when the fish bites it, and therefore you get the full gap of the hook. And I got to tell you, since I've made this change years ago, I have found I lose way less fish on a shaky head. And I think there's a pretty good misconception out there that the pigtail, this corkscrew, is a better way to go about on your shaky heads. Now I gotta tell you, it is a much better way to make your plastics last longer. But you gotta ask yourself, would you rather have a bag of plastics that lasts longer and lose more fish or would you rather catch more fish and go through more plastics? That's kinda up to you to decide. I personally would rather catch more fish and go through plastics, but I realize not everybody's in the position that I'm in. So from that standpoint, I think it's something that you want to evaluate if you like to throw your shaky heads. You need to look at what the bait keeper is. Is it something that you just push on and is made to release the worm upon bite? Or is it something that's made to hold your worm in place, which could impede your hookup percentage? So for me at this point, I've gone completely with shaky heads where I'm threading the worm on versus screwing it on. <clears throat> So I'd love to know what you guys think as well. You know, it's hard for me to argue with Larry Nixon. That man 
will know more than I've ever known. And he taught me a very valuable lesson that day. And hopefully some of you guys might take away what I learned from him as well. But put in the comment section, am I crazy or not crazy? Do you see the same issue with lost fish when using a pigtail bait keeper? So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, we'll have a new one coming out tomorrow for you.